Since the 19th century, the coast of Argentina has attracted several studies in view of the spectacular succession of quaternary raised beach deposits and their rich and significant paleontological content. In the last decade, these deposits have given rise to new interest in their use in reconstructing the local relative sea level curve. Being located in a passive margin, this area should be particularly suitable for testing geophysically based models given the low tectonic disturbance and slow uplift rate. You'll recall that we talked about eustatic rise and fall of sea level and isostatic rise and fall of the land. So if you wanna to try to get as close as you can to an absolute measure of sea level change, then you need to have a coastline that has been relatively stable tectonically, meaning it hasn't gone up or down too much. And then that way you can get a pretty good clear idea of the actual amount of sea level change.